I was recently experimenting with the concept of fractals and uh, I came up with this interesting effect. So yeah, I really wanted to share it with you guys. So this is the video all about that. So let's get right into it. All right. So for those who don't know what fractals are, uh, they are basically an object that is instance on itself multiple times to create abstract designs, right? So I'm going to show you how easy it was to uh, actually make that uh, animation. So let's quickly jump into our geometry nodes editor. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything and let's use a normal plane for this because we're going to create it entirely procedurally right so we're going to go ahead and click on new and i will not use the plane but i want to go ahead and let's say use a cylinder because this gives me a little bit more flexibility to create different shapes i, I think i got a feedback last time that i didn't activate my screencast keys uh, when i was working so uh, there it is. Thanks so much for feedback uh, for that feedback. I appreciate it, and I read all of your comments. So yeah, just make sure to keep letting me or keep giving me ideas to improve myself. Right. So that's that's really appreciated. All right. So uh, we've got the cylinder. I've reduced the vertices to uh, down to three because again we're going to add a lot of instances so it can get heavy so if your computer can handle it you can increase it but i'm going to keep it to three i'm going to change the radius uh, i'll keep the radius to one but change the depth to 1.5 let's just make sure uh, it looks a little bit more even to me right so how do we make it well like i said it's a concept of instancing the same object over on itself so i'm going to click on uh, uh, i'm going to do a shift a and uh, do instance and instance on point now let's go ahead and add it here well actually i'm not going to add it to the original stream i'm going to add it after that and let's add a join geometry and we are going to go ahead and join this instance geometry back onto the original geometry now i'm going to instance the original object back onto it and this is how it looks now it it's almost the same size which doesn't make sense so let's quickly create a value node and we're gonna control the size of these objects using this value node so i'm gonna keep it at 0 0.5 for now so now we've got the same object instances instanced on uh, itself on each or each of its its vertices right now let's repeat this process once again but this time i'm gonna take the instance geometry and plug it into the point and this go ahead and join it back to the join geometry but we're going to take the original object and put it in the instance section. Now it creates another one. Now let's take this value node and add it to the scale. Now what it does is it's basically going ahead and creating 0 0.5 uh, percent of the scale like 50 uh, percent of the scale of this instance instead of the original object right so we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process two more times and uh, let's just create a few more here we're gonna add the value node again in the scale and let's repeat it one more time and i think we should be we should be good to go all right uh so now we've got our factorial object here but it just looks weird and again the reason we use this value node is because it it made it easier for us to control the value and control the shape and uh yeah you can just uh go ahead and shape it up as you like i'm gonna go ahead and uh, add some cavity in here so that you guys can see what exactly is happening so yeah this is how it looks right now uh someone banging on our walls sorry about the disturbance <laughs> so uh yeah now that we have played with the scale let's create something similar for the rotation as well right so for that what i'm going to do is i am going to add a random value for the rotation and uh, let's change this to a vector and let's add this vector to all the rotation uh for all the instances right Great, so uh, we've added it and now it looks a little bit more erratic as compared to what it was before. I'm going to change the total instance to tau, which is somewhere around uh, 360 degrees because these numbers are in radians and not, uh, not actually in degrees. Yeah, so our work is pretty much done. Now let's quickly, I'm going to quickly show you how I animated it, right? So let's create a 200 frame animation and I'm going to go ahead and change this value back to zero let's add a keyframe here let's go to 100 let's change it back to tau which is 6.283 we'll insert a keyframe again and then go back to 201 and let's just change it back to zero right why are we doing this so i want this animation to be seamless so if i go ahead and do that now it will automatically go ahead and rotate it 360 degree randomly and then bring it back 
to its original position. Now, it's, just make sure that this entire animation is seamless. Now, you can also go ahead and increase the vertices and uh, the shape of it changes. Now, it's a square. If I increase it more, it's a hexagon, uh, pentagon, and so on and so forth, right? So, you can play with it, but the higher you go, the more instances are going to be added. The, the slower your computer would be and the longer it's going to take to actually render it right so our animation is created in like five minutes uh the only thing that i'll probably show you is how i created the texture for it for that uh, i can just simply add a set material node after my join geometry and just add the basic material here and let's quickly click on new uh, actually not new let's select the original material i added a noise texture and uh, also a color ramp my base color and this and just did a control d make sure that you have a node wrangler add-on enabled and i'm using the camera uh input into the mapping and use the factor into the color ramp now it just basically gives me a good nice gradient here i'm going to reduce the size to 0 0.5 increase the detail and reduce the roughness to zero and now you can add any color that you want in here and also let's increase the specularity reduce the roughness if you like but yeah that's that's pretty much it it's gonna look better if you render it in cycles and we've got cycles x now so that's a suggestion to go ahead with it will be a little slower than uh it is in ev but it's gonna just look amazing but i guess that's about it and then i really hope that you guys liked it and was helpful if you did don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video